I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new vlog. A lot of people keep asking me about my opinions on the situation that happened today with Nike Store. They announced that they will be canceling all orders that they got in for the Dornbecker 3 that was placed with using these bots. Now, me personally, my opinion on the bots, I never was angry about when people using it. Some people really got really upset saying, oh, it's not fair, this and that and the third. But you know what? If there's a way for someone to get their shoes and they got the little hustle, I'm not mad at it. It's just the way of the world. I actually used to have a little trick on getting shoes maybe like four, maybe even three years ago. But too many people kept opening up their mouths. And some people even actually made videos on how to get your shoes from Nike store, your quick strike releases, which to me was unbelievable. Why would you put out information to the public about a way that you're able to get your shoes? And it's the same thing with the bots. People are just doing this whole sneaker thing for recognition now. And, and it's just the perfect example with these bots. If the people that had these bots just kept their damn mouth shut, they could have been getting all these shoes. But the thing is that the wrong person gets the bot, and then they want to spread the word that they got them because they want to get their props in and their recognition instead of the reason why you got the bot in the first place was to score the shoes. And that's just the bitch ass and people, you know what I mean? People just want to get their shine on, get their like one second of being noticed instead of just getting your shoes and keeping your mouth shut. But that's the difference I think between like my generation and this generation. Heads do shit nowadays to get noticed versus a lot of people in my generation, we do shit just to get shit done, you know what I mean? We just trying to get what we need to get done and that's it. I'm not saying everyone in this generation, so don't get your panties in a bunch if you think I'm talking to you and you're the same blood type as me. I'm just saying in general, there is a lot of people in the sneaker quote unquote culture that do shit for recognition. That's why that whole bot situation went from a great situation for those that were using it to just complete shit. It just went to shit. And me, I'm not into the whole bot thing. I never was because I'm not downloading no bot program on my computer. I don't know anything about those programs and I don't trust them. Could be a scam. And I'm very careful with the internet. Honestly, I really barely click links unless I personally know the person that's sending me the link. I mean, really know them too. I'm not talking about talking on the internet on Twitter once in a while and, you know, leaving comments on YouTube. So because some of you out there think just because you talk to someone here and there on Twitter that you know them. That's why you see like shows like Catfish where idiots are getting freaking fooled out there because people are so gullible, you know. Unless I personally know you, I ain't clicking on your link. And I'm not going to damn what download some program from someone that I barely know that is wanting $20 or $30 and it's going to help me buy a shoe. I don't know what the fuck that program is, so I would never do that. So call me old fashioned maybe, but I was never into the bot thing. I was never pissed off though that people were using the bots. It just never pissed me off. I have plenty of shoes now. If I miss out on a shoe, honestly, it's kind of good, you know what I mean? Because I'm kind of running out of space <laughs> with all these damn shoes. You see the show here. This is a sneaker out show. I'm showing, I show a lot of damn shoes. I'm running out of space. So if I miss out on a shoe, then whatever, it's all good. There's only a couple of shoes that really pissed me off that I didn't get. Then that was like the black toe ones. And it kind of annoyed me just the fact that like ones have never been that popular in my opinion. They've always sat on shelves and this year they just hyped them up by not releasing that many and you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to lose no sleep over it, but at the same time I was a little annoyed. So that's my opinion on the bots. I just never really paid attention to it. Not really something that I'm into, so I just, if I'm not into it, it just doesn't even exist in my world. I just look past it. That's just the way I work. I just look past shit. I am happy that they did eliminate the bots at the same time because of the fact that I'm not using the bot, so the bot was something that was going against me scoring my shoes. So, good that they stopped the bot since I'm not fucking with the bots. If I was messing with the bots, I'd be tight though. But, hey, as I was saying, you got too many people that were using the bots and they bragging and they're trying to do it for their bragging rights and trying to get their recognition instead of just keeping their damn mouth shut and doing what they got to do on the low to get what they need to get done. And, you know... 
If you're one of those people that are doing that, maybe you need to change a little bit. You know, some people really love that recognition and the props. Sometimes, you know, if you're doing something on the low, you need to keep it on the low. You know what I mean? Stop talking so much. Keep that shit on the hush-hush. You know what I mean? Stop talking so much. And with that said, that's my opinion on the whole situation. I hope you enjoyed this vlog right here. Real random. I just keep having people that keep asking me, check my blog. Go to my blog, thesneakeratic.com. I was talking about that hours ago. Go to the blog. Read what I wrote. TheSneakerAddict.com, hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing, check out my blog, TheSneakerAddict.com, SneakerAddict.com, and I keep like wedging in your head, TheSneakerAddict.com. Also follow me on Instagram, Team DJ Dells, alright? If you're not following me on Instagram, I don't even know why you're not, I'm showing a lot of heat on Instagram, and with that said, I'll be back really, really soon.